11. Why did you choose to pursue civil engineering? This is a common question in lots of interviews, regardless of the profession. Your interviewer wants to know what inspired you to join this field. Is it the money or a burning passion for structures? Keep in mind that there is no correct answer as people have unique reasons for their decisions in life. However, do not mention any material reason just to be safe. I come from a family where people love math. Both my parents were math teachers, and therefore, I grew up seeing them solve mathematical equations and lots of puzzles. My dad always urged me to think creatively when tackling an issue and even inspired in me a quizzical mind that is constantly exploring how different things are structured and their working mechanism. I decided to pursue civil engineering when I realized that it aligns with everything I had grown up seeing. 12. Why do you want to work for us? Just like the previous one, this is also a common question in interviews. Your answer will reveal whether you have researched the company and can pick a few pros that excite you. We suggest that you bring out the details that make the company different from others and also show that you have researched before rendering your application when tackling this question. I want to be part of your organization because of your fantastic reputation. You have been lauded repeatedly for your efficiency and excellent work culture, which allows employees to grow. Most of your former employees still speak proudly of this company even in their new places of work, which makes me believe that you will better use my skills and experiences here. 13. What is your number one priority as a civil engineer? This question seeks to reveal just how well you are aware of some of the essential job qualifications. If possible, craft your answer in a way that captured the company's values and mission statement. Also, make sure that you are sincere when giving your answer. As a civil engineer, my utmost priority is making sure that my designs are safe for both the public and the environment. I believe that the health of the public and the environment come first regardless of the situation. I also prioritize the safety of my construction team. This not only does justice to my reputation, but also gives me the fulfillment that I need in this job. 14. What's your secret? How do you ensure that your work environment is safe? Even though some civil engineers work primarily in office settings, others, which should include you, create time to supervise ongoing field projects. Here, the interviewer wants to know if you understand the importance of construction site safety and whether you can protect the company and employees from accidents and lawsuits by adhering to it. One of the things that I treasure the most as a civil engineer is the safety of my construction team while working on a project. I prefer leading by example. Therefore, whenever I visit a site, I always ensure that I am in the proper safety clothing to set the pace for the other employees. I then confirm whether everybody has their personal protective equipment on and that all the tools are safely tucked away. If the construction team lacks the proper protective equipment, I will stop the construction until that is sorted. Lastly, I make sure that all the construction guidelines in the Occupational Safety and Health Administration Directive are followed to the latter. 15. What would you do if a completed construction causes an accident? This question seeks to reveal your character and whether you are the right candidate for the job. While answering this, make sure that you give a straightforward answer and are as sincere as possible. Also, show that you value your work ethic and would know what to do in such a situation. Given that the liability in such a scenario is an ethical issue, I will inform the upper management swiftly since the company is obligated to be held accountable. Informing the upper management also serves as a lesson for the company who will be more careful to avoid similar future errors that can cost its reputation and make it short-lived. 16. What is your relationship with clients? The interviewer wants to know how you interact with clients. This question also seeks to reveal whether you can deal well with clients with different desires and levels of tolerance. Convince the interviewer that you can communicate well and maintain a happy and satisfying relationship. I believe that the client is one of the most important parties in the entire construction process. They play a significant role right from the planning stage into the design, construction, maintenance, and operation phases. They must therefore be held high and their input respected. I have managed to acquire several skills given my years of experience in this field that helps me relate well with clients. 
I have the patience and sincerity required when interacting with clients. I am also knowledgeable in this field and can therefore sustain discussions with clients. 17. In your opinion, what is the biggest challenge that civil engineers face? The interviewer is testing your mastery of the industry. Are you aware of the challenges that civil engineers grapple with? Ensure that you are honest with your potential employer, who will probably listen for clues on how you will resolve the conflicts. Having been in this field for seven years, I can confidently say that the biggest challenge we face as civil engineers face is dealing with clients who try to push us to take shorter routes to save time and money. Some believe that their alternatives are the best and do not want to be convinced that this is usually a dangerous and unethical means of structural construction. Gaining the cooperation of such parties takes lots of effort. At one point, I even turned down a client with the consent of my company to protect my reputation and integrity. 18. Could you explain what bending movement and shear force are? This is a technical question. The interviewer is trying to assess just how good you are at your job. When answering this question, make sure that you leave them convinced that you understand your work as a civil engineer. Also, make sure that your answer is straightforward and can be understood by everyone on the interview panel. A bending movement refers to the reaction that a structural element undergoes on the application of an external force or a moment causing it to bend. The most common element that undergoes this phenomenon is the beam. The shear force refers to the force in the beam that acts perpendicularly to the longitudinal axis. The ability of a beam to resist this force counts more than its ability to withstand an axial force, which acts parallel to its longitudinal axis. 19. What is the minimum curing period? Like the previous one, this is also a technical question that seeks to reveal whether you understand your craft. Curing is a necessary process when working on concrete and may have fatal consequences if not done right. Show the interviewer that you are knowledgeable of the curing process. Different curing durations are depending on what has been used to build the concrete. For ordinary Portland cement, IS, 456 2000 recommends that the curing duration of the concrete should not be less than 7 days. This duration should not be less than 10 days for mineral admixtures and ordinary Portland cement is exposed to dry and hot weather conditions. For concrete with mineral admixtures in hot and dry weather, this duration should not be less than 14 days. 20. What are some of the field tests they use to check the quality of cement? This is a technical question testing on a specific issue. As a civil engineer, you must ensure that your cement has the best quality, which can only be ascertained by running a few tests. Mention some that you have used and therefore clearly understand. There are several means of checking the quality of cement. Some of the common attributes to look out for are color and physical properties. The proper cement should be gray with a light greenish shade. The texture should also be smooth to be ascertained by rubbing it between the fingers. A hand insert in a heap of cement should also feel cool, and when a pinch is thrown in the water, it should float for a while before sinking. Lastly, cement of the highest quality should be lump-free. These are some of the most familiar questions in civil engineering interviews. Given that this is a discipline in engineering, always expect most of the questions to be technical. All in all, make sure that you prepare well and answer questions confidently. We wish you all the best in your upcoming interview.